Hi, Dave Caudle here with another top tip for your career. I was working with someone yesterday and we were talking about LinkedIn and I thought it would be great to share with you some of my top tips for making sure that you're getting the most out of LinkedIn. So first thing is make sure you have a really nice picture, professional looking picture of you um, as your profile picture and use the background, the backdrop picture, you can, that banner that goes across the back, you can use that to get across something relevant to your industry, something relevant to you. I saw someone recently with a lovely quote there that just captured who she was. And use your headline. You've got a lot of characters available to you in your headline, not just to put your job title, but to put a little bit about what you deliver and who you help. And then expand on that in your about section so people really get to understand what the benefits are of having you on the team or you working for them and get across a bit about who you are as well. And then you can expand a little bit in the sort of experience section to just tell people a little bit about some of the key things that you've delivered in each role that you've done and get across some of the, the scope and the responsibility that you've had. And finally, as you go down, just think about, have you got any recommendations? So not recommendations to people, but people recommending you. If you haven't, it's really powerful to reach out to people, people that you've worked with, people that you've worked for, colleagues, customers, and just say, would you mind giving me a recommendation on LinkedIn, please? That's people publicly saying how good you are. And that kind of sets up your, your shop window, if you like. And in a way, that's one of the ways you can use LinkedIn. So you can use it to, to be that, you know, someone's walking down the LinkedIn high street, is your shop window attractive enough for them to come in and want to start a conversation? So the other thing you know, in that respect is just make sure that, you know, if you're thinking about who you want to find you, what are the key words that they'll be searching on so that there's a good chance they will find you? So that sort of shop window aspect is very passive and it's really important that you get it right because people will be attracted to, to come and start conversations with you. But you can be so much more proactive on LinkedIn. So you can search for people that are working in organisations that you want to work for or that are working in industries that you're thinking you might want to work in. So this might be with a specific aim to, to find someone who could hire you or it might be if you're in a place where you're stuck in your career at the moment it might just be that you're looking for people to talk to, to understand how your skills will fit in to a different industry. And people are really willing to have those conversations, especially if you take it off the back or take them off the back foot rather by just being clear that you're researching, not about to ask them for a job. So make sure that you stick with that. Be clear on what your objectives are in, in connecting with people. And remember to use that first level, second level, third level tag that you see against people. If they're a first level connection, you can contact them directly. If they're a second level connection, rather than trying to connect directly, look for who your mutual contacts are. You know, go and ask that person to introduce you to that person. Because it will you know, a warm introduction, we're all more likely to speak to people if someone we know has introduced them to us. So you can use it proactively to find people to help with research on your next career steps or to actually find people who could potentially hire you and start conversations with them. Remember, LinkedIn is about starting conversations. It's not a place usually where the whole conversation takes place. So finally, use LinkedIn to build your personal brand, your personal reputation. And you can do that by posting hints, tips, relevant information, things that will be useful to the people that you want to connect with. Now that could be people in your industry, if you're in business, it could be to your potential customers. To start to build your reputation as someone who gives, someone who shares, someone who is an expert in your field. And you can go even further than that by, by posting um, not just your own material and curating other people's um, articles and things, but maybe by posting videos and things like that. And videos get good traction on LinkedIn just at the moment. So it's worth thinking about whether you could record a video for LinkedIn, a bit like this one, or whether you could actually just pop on and do a live broadcast to LinkedIn for a couple of minutes on your profile. 
So have a think about those things. There's lots of ways you can use LinkedIn and networking is called networking because it requires a bit of work. It requires a bit of nurturing of your network. So it's worth taking some time to do that, not just when you need it, if you're going to the job market, but on an ongoing basis, because then your network is there and ready to help you when you need it.